So Break Room Brewery uh, was a huge wood shop, so it was part of the wood shop behind us. What used to be up here was a little bar, so after a long day's work, they would come to the little bar and it'd be called the Break Room. One day it just kind of came to light, hey, why don't we open up our own Break Room to the public? You know, everybody works hard. We want to share our love and our passion for the crafts and for beer. You know, that's kind of how everything came about. So behind us, is our 10 barrel brew house, which we use to make the beer, kettle, hot liquor tank, and mash tun. Over here behind us, we're surrounded by eight fermentation vessels, which is where the actual beer is made by the yeast. Once the beer is done in here, we move it across to the other side of the bar, which is where our serving tanks are, and we have 10 10 barrel uh, bright tanks in there, which is where we serve all our beer from and pour from the tap. We have about nine beers on tap right now. There's some very notable ones, one being the Artist Dream, which is an all citra hopped beer. It happens to be a crowd favorite, and it's just absolutely nice on the tongue. It's not overly bittery, even though it is an IPA. Another one that we have is our Noble Grey Porter. It's gonna be more robust, and it's gonna have kind of the hints of the caramel, the chocolate. Some people might get that like roasty kind of coffee flavor in it. And then another one that we're really proud of is our Vinium. It's our double IPA. It's gonna be a lot more or robust, you're gonna get some bitterness as well. But it's definitely a heavy hitter and it's up there with some of the high ABV beers that you'll get out there in the market. We came to the neighborhood and there was one thing, this huge absence of good food and good beer in the neighborhood. So we kind of took it as a challenge to elevate and, and bring in kind of the craft and tie all three crafts that we have here together. One of our offerings are the uh, beer-soaked fries. We soak them in beer in order to get some flavor transfer, and then on the pickup, you, you drop them in the fryer, and the inside is very creamy. You have a small amount of hoppiness, and then ultimate crispiness on the outside. We're doing house-made charcuterie, where we offer a couple different offerings per evening. Sometimes it's mousse and pate, other times it's a house-made mortadella. We've got a non-healthy salad. It's a pork shank that's topped with a salad. We use uh, braised pork shank that gets brined for 24 hours, and then uh, that gets served with a salad of uh, red watercress, curly mustard, and uh, arugula. Everything here is handcrafted. Everything from the bar that you see, from the tables, uh, to the beer, and to the food. The thing that we love to be able to do is have people walking out here with a great experience and something that's totally unique and something that they hopefully haven't experienced before.